Am I too late? He's alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it! C4. Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. I have been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Draw! Pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! <laughs> Talk. Who are you? I'm not one of them. 
The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah, I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh, you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Codec. Until I was tied up here, that is. Codec? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius in engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the Nuclear Warhead Storage Building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn.
In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Uh, Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the Military Oversight Committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's Dark Little Secret. Dark Little Secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> uh. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So, they actually went in. Did it. What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for... <sighs> what the hell? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. The DARPA Chief and President Baker. 
So now the terrorists know both detonation codes. Yeah, and on top of that, they both died right in front of my eyes. Snake, now that the terrorists have both detonation codes, the only way to stop a nuclear launch is to either use the detonation code release keys that Merrill's holding, or... Or find the Metal Gear chief engineer that President Baker mentioned, Hal Emmerich. In any case, you should contact Merrill by codec. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the CD case? Are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the Colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha! Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal, then? 
Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Boxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard, anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry. I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training, but when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action, and now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl, everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. 
Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks.